welcome back to Olfactive Files. I'm Tara and this is a declutter video. Another one. <laughs> um, I do these periodically because basically I'm at the point where if I bring something into my collection, I have to let go of something just to make it so that things aren't too overwhelming, not too cluttered, etc. And it's getting harder and harder uh, every single time because I am getting to the point where a lot of my collection is made up of loves. However, there are some that are just likes in there still, and so those are the ones that I'm trying to weed out. Things that I don't reach for, things that maybe um, I have others that are similar to, whatever, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. I have a whole box. I don't even, I'm not even gonna pick it up. It's so heavy. I have a whole box right there. Okay, just trust me. And I'm gonna go through what I will be getting rid of. A lot of you always ask like, where do I sell these or whatever? I usually um, nowadays do Mercari because it's just easier. Uh, but occasionally I do post in Facebook groups, but these will probably honestly just go on Mercari. So if you um, aren't already following me on there, then I'll try to remember to link it down in the description box in case you want to check it out. Um, but I know a lot of you already follow me on there as well. All right, so this video I already filmed and started editing once, but I ended up picking a few more things to declutter since I did that, and also the video quality was just a mess, so I decided I'm just gonna refilm the whole thing, even though it's gonna take a while, uh, but that's what we're gonna do now. So, without further ado, let's get into what I'm decluttering, and first up is a very fun bottle, and it's still in the box here, but I did spray it. So, this one is called Ferrer... Fer Ugh. <laughs> Let's try that again. This is called Pharrell Williams Girl, and it's from Comme de Garçon. This one, I think, is a very unisex fragrance, even though it's called Girl, and I'm not sure who they're marketing to with this particular bottle, but it's kitschy. Um, anyway, so this one, I didn't dislike it. I don't remember exactly kind of what it smelled like to me. I think this, God, I don't even know. I think it was maybe a little bit spicy. I have no clue. I haven't smelled it in so long. Uh, but I just immediately, when I got this, was like, no, nah, I'm not keeping that. Even though it's kind of cute, kind of weird. Uh, and I do love Pharrell Williams, like love. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one's gotta go. So that's the first one I'm letting go of. Didn't stay too long. In that same vein, I'm also letting go of this one from Joe Malone. This is a discontinued one, kind of hard to find nowadays. It's called Oris and Sandalwood, which you would think, Oris, sandalwood, Tara's gonna love this, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh, I don't, <laughs> obviously. Um, I don't dislike it. It is very like Oris broody um, though. And this actually is one of the few Jo Malone fragrances that I've come across that I personally feel like leans a little bit masculine. Not that I have a problem with that. Um, I just personally like this goes a little bit more masculine than I expected, first of all. And that I think than I want to wear. So that's kind of the main reason why. I do think it's a really nice fragrance, um, and I'm not sure why they discontinued it because I do think that it would be a great offering um, to appeal especially to uh, men, because I know like a lot of times men shy away from Jo Malone. Well, maybe not, maybe that's not true, but sometimes it seems like they do. Anyway, um, that's Oris and Sandalwood. Not a bad fragrance, just a little bit different from what I was expecting. All right, next up I have two from the brand Ganache Parfums. It's a small indie brand, so maybe you've not heard of them before, but maybe you have. Uh, I have this one called Chocolate Ganache, and this one's called Ugly Holiday Sweater. And I do like the way that these smell. Um, they smell really good. And it makes me like not want to get rid of them, but the thing is, I don't wear them. So like the Ugly Holiday Sweater one, it smells like a spiced sort of Christmas cookie. Oh God, it's, it's nice. <laughs> um, but because of the way it smells, I think I would literally only wear this like maybe one or two days right around Christmas and that's it. And you can see like I've barely worn it and I've had it for, I got it before Christmas, I think. Yeah. So I've had it for like six months probably and that's all I've used. So, um, yeah, I just won't reach for that. And the same thing with the chocolate ganache, it smells delicious. Like that's a delicious chocolate fragrance, but I have other chocolate fragrances that are maybe a little bit more complex that I prefer to wear. And so I just never reach for this one even though it smells really nice. So that's why I'm letting go of both of these ganache parfums fragrances. 
Another really sweet fragrance that I'm letting go of is this one from Victor and Rolf. This is called Bon Bon. You've probably seen it before. <laughs> I feel like the bottle kind of stands out, makes itself known. This is a really nice fragrance. Um, it does kind of have almost like a caramelly sort of fruity sweetness to it, and I like it. I do like it. You can see I have used a bit of this one. Maybe you can see that bottle's kind of dark. There you go. Um, so I have used a bit of this one, and I've worn it in the past too. Like this isn't the first time that I've had a bottle of Bon Bon, but it's just a little too sweet for me nowadays. Um, this one's already spoken for, by the way. My friend Chris at Scented Swordsman, check him out on Instagram and on YouTube. Maybe he'll post a video again sometime. <laughs> but uh, he's actually gonna take this for his daughter because he's the best dad in the world and his uh, little girl has a little perfume shelf of her own that he helps her build. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's move on. Okay, so next up I have four more Jo Malone fragrances. I still love Jo Malone, by the way, um, and one of these fragrances I actually love, love, uh, but I already have like a full-size bottle of. Anyway, I picked all four of these up from Camille from the channel Making a Stink with Chris and Camille. Uh, the grapefruit one, it's, you know, there's not a ton left. It's like a little bit less than half full. That one I just didn't love. I hadn't tried it before, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I just didn't love it. It's okay. Orange Blossom, um, I should have known better on this one. It's Orange Blossom. It's not for me because I'm not huge into that particular note. I like Orange Blossom more than Neroli. I don't like Neroli usually, but um, still not a big fan. And then these two, so Wood Sage and Sea Salt, I freaking love. Like this is my favorite still of all my Jo Malone fragrances. In fact, this is what my car smells like. So if you ever get in my car, you're gonna smell Wood Sage and Sea Salt because I have a little Jo Malone car diffuser with my little Wood Sage and Sea Salt insert. So that's what my car smells like if you ever wonder what my ride is scented like. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just gonna get rid of that because I have a full size bottle and I mean, you know how many bottles I have. I don't need it. And then this one's actually quite good, but um, I just, I don't know. I'm hesitating on this one. Maybe I'll keep this one. I'm not sure. I'll probably let it go. But this is called Tobacco and Mandarin. It's another discontinued one from Jo Malone, and you can see it's kind of in a different style bottle than usual. Um, I think some people compare this to that newer Byredo Tobacco Mandarin one that they released, um, and it definitely, you can get the Mandarin right away, but it definitely is a nice combo of the two. Fairly simple fragrance. I mean, it's a Jo Malone, to be fair, but um, I do like this one. I just am not sure that I want to keep it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. That one is debatable. So next up, I have two Lush fragrances, and I actually really, really like these. These were hard to let go. Um, first up is Vanillary, and you know, I love a good vanilla. This, I think, is a really nice vanilla that would work in the spring and summer because it's kind of a floral vanilla. And um, I have used a bit of it, as you can see. I do really like this one, um, but again, I just, I have to focus on the things that I love and not just like. The other one that I really like that I'm letting go of is Smuggler's Soul. And again, you can see I've, eh, maybe not as much, but I've used a bit of that one too. This one is a nice citrusy sandalwood. Mmm, smells delicious. I actually think I like this one even more than Vanillary, but um, I do like them both quite a bit. And I actually think these would both work well in the summertime because this is like a citrus sandalwood and this one is a floral vanilla. So might be good for somebody looking for a nice summertime fragrance right now. All right, we're gonna continue on with another pair of fragrances from the same house. These two are from the house of Solanotes. I have Tonka, which you see here, and also Iris. Now I did a whole video on Solanotes and I reviewed like I had 14 of their fragrances. These are the last two that I had and I still really love these. These are my favorite two and I also really love the vanilla as well. Um, like I would say the Tonka, the Iris, and the vanilla are the standouts to me. However, in general, for 20 bucks each and sometimes they go on sale so they're even less than that. I'm not sure you can beat this line. Um, there's at least not a lot out there. In terms of like easily accessible things, like you just go to Target or wherever and pick them up. Um, and that's where I got pretty much all of mine was at Target. Uh, yeah, I just think for that price, these are hard to beat. Um, it smells so good. These two just are amazing. The Tonga has like this sort of cherry nuance to it that I really love. And the Iris is just a beautiful, clean style iris, you know, like if you like um, Prada Infusion to iris, you'll like this. But uh, I have a bajillion iris fragrances and I have like half a bajillion Tonka fragrances. So <laughs> I probably don't need either of these, but I do love them. So I'm gonna pass them on to somebody who will actually use them because they're really nice. 
You guys, this video is going to be the end of me. I just recorded for 30 minutes pretty much the entire rest of this video without my mic on because I got up for a minute, sat back down, didn't put it back on, and so you can't hear me. <laughs> All right, so let's do it again. Here we go. Uh, the next pair of fragrances that I'm getting rid of uh, are really, really good. I've talked about these before. These are from Robert Graham, and unfortunately, Robert Graham has ceased to make fragrances. Uh, I think he only really had fragrances for men anyway, but now they don't carry any fragrances whatsoever. Um, it's so good. So the two that I have are Fortitude and Valor. Fortitude is like a tobacco sort of fragrance, and Valor is a coffee fragrance. Um, I would say that on a man, I would drool over these because I find them very, very good fragrances, but um, I don't tend to wear them myself. I actually tried to declutter them once before and I just love them so much that I couldn't let go of them, but I just need to because I'm not going to wear them and I want them to be on a man. I want, well, I mean, this could be really nice on a woman too. I actually do think that these can be quite unisex or just a little bit more masculine than what I want. All right, let's talk about some other designer fragrances here. This one, the bottle is just so sexy. I love this bottle. It's from Yves Saint Laurent and it is called Libre Intense. I really like this fragrance a lot. In fact, this is one that I'm struggling to actually let go of. Uh, story of this whole video, right? But this uh, is significantly better than the original, at least in my opinion. It's more of like a lavender vanilla combo. It smells great, uh, but I do have other lavender fragrances that I tend to reach for, so that's why that one's going. Then I have this one from Thierry Mugler. This is called Miroir des Majesties, and this one kind of does have an alien vibe to it. It doesn't smell just like alien by any means, but it has that kind of vibe because there is um, kind of that jasmine amber combo in here. But this one also has like touches of like leather or suede, I think. There's oud in here, a little bit of spice. So it's definitely different. Um, however, if you do tend to like alien and alts flankers, you probably like this one too, even though it's not technically an alien flanker definitely borrows some uh, inspiration from Alien, if you will. So that one's called Miroir des Majesties. Then we have a classic from Dior. This one is, of course, Poison. I think most people know what this smells like anymore because it's been around for a long time and a lot of people have worn it. I will say the newer formulation, which is what this is, I, it's probably like a year or two old. Uh, this one here, it's not as strong as I remember it being in like the 90s, but that could be just my, you know, like kind of bias towards, you know, the, the old days, or it could be um, just kind of a normal thing that we see that uh, fragrances aren't quite as powerful. Now, I don't necessarily care about that because as you know, if you watch my channel, I'm not like all into beast mode fragrances. And in fact, the performance is still like, it's still strong, it still performs well, it's just not quite what it used to be. Um, but still a great fragrance, so that one's Poison. Then I have this one here, bottle. I, I, I love this bottle, I know a lot of people hate it, but it's from Moschino. So this is called Toy Boy, and this is a rose fragrance, and I think this is a very unisex fragrance, even though they do market it towards men. It's like a little bit spicy, it has some darkness to it. I really like it a lot. But um, this one and, hold on, I have another. And this rose fragrance here, this is Chloe Absolute Parfum. These two rose fragrances are towards the bottom of my rose list. I actually did a video about my rose fragrances not that long ago. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of thinking as I'm doing these lists, it's quite helpful because if I force myself to rank them, like my least favorite to my most favorite, then it gives me a really clear picture about which ones I can let go of because if it's not even in my top 10 of that style of fragrance, I could probably let it go, right? So that's why actually both of these rose fragrances are leaving my collection. Then we have this one here. This is actually really sought after. This is Lolita Lempica L. It's been discontinued for quite some time now, but um, I think people really like this one because it does kind of smell a little bit like Lyra. Lyra, in my opinion, is significantly better. Um, also, Ex Idolo uh, Love and Crime. Those are both fantastic, but this I think is a great designer alternative to those. Um, and obviously it has a little bit lower price point than either of those do. So it does have sort of that citrus vanilla kind of combo, but it, it's still really good, just not as good to me as those. And I have both of those, so I don't need this. 
Next up, we have one from Van Cleef and Arpels. This one is just a phenomenal fragrance called Bois de Iris. And I think I might've mentioned this in my Iris video that I did. This smells very, very similar to Christian Louboutin Louis Rouge, um, which... <laughs> God. If my laugh didn't just blow out your eardrums with the speaker, I'm going to leave that in there because what an idiot. This is just this whole production today. It's, it's something. Uh, we're just going to leave that there for now and continue talking about Bois de Iris. Um, so like I said, <laughs> God dang it. What's wrong with me? Um, so this is a woody Iris fragrance, of course. And um, it's like, we're going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get myself together. And then we're going to talk about this fragrance. All right. I've composed myself, I think. Um, so as I was saying, this is a really great woody iris fragrance. It also though has like some like ambery vanilla kind of qualities to it that I really enjoy. I think the notes that are listed in Luby Rouge are like iris, vanilla, and cardamom. And so there's definitely some overlap in kind of the style there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is fantastic. I just have two that smell very similar and I kind of love the ridiculous Louboutin bottle. So I'm keeping that one, even though this one is equally beautiful. Next, I have one that literally I just got and it's going to go right back out. Um, it smells really nice. This is called Bottega Profumeria Gourmand. And so this is of course a gourmand fragrance. Um, they got real creative with the name there, as you can see. Uh, the letters are coming off a bit because this is a pre-owned bottle, but here's the thing. So first of all, I do like the way it smells. It's kind of like a, to me, it's kind of like a slightly orangey vanilla kind of fragrance. But um, if you take a look, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on the viewfinder. Um, or maybe if I turn it this way, you can see it better. If you take a look at the stem, it stops about there, which means that there's like gonna be this much left that you can't use at the end. And that's irritating. Now, would I realistically ever use all this up if I decided to keep it? No, I wouldn't, <laughs> but that's still irritating. So I probably won't ever buy anything from this brand again because this is how their bottles come apparently. Um, maybe this is a defect, but still. Yeah, you can use the vast majority of it, but that's annoying. So anyway, that's going to be sold. I just got it in and didn't love it, although I do like it, but that stem is just stupid. Okay, here's one that hurts my heart because this bottle's gorgeous and you all know I love this line from Prada. This comes from the Olfactories collection and this one is called Pink Flamingos. And this is a nice um, sort of fruity floral fragrance. It does have a cherry note in there. I definitely get some iris, which probably shouldn't be too surprising considering it comes from Daniela and Dreer and Prada. Uh, it's a beautiful fragrance, but out of all of the olfactory ones that I own, this is my least favorite and it's quite light. Um, and I don't know, I just don't reach for it. Like I, I've had this for, I don't know, a few months now. And right now is the ideal time to wear this fragrance. And I haven't found myself wanting to wear it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass that one along. All right, just a few left. And this next one's probably going to be kind of a shock to people because uh, this is another line uh, that I think a lot of people are aware that I really, really love. This comes from the Carolina Herrera Confidentials collection and it's called Gold Incense. And look at that bottle. My goodness, it's beautiful. So um, I love this range and I actually really, really, really like this fragrance a lot. This is a wonderful, slightly sweet incense fragrance also great cap on these, like really great cap. Um, but anyway, out of the now six that I have, here's the thing. So I, I just recently acquired Amber Desire and I had to make room and I was like, what am I going to do? And these are massive bottles. So I was like, okay, get rid of one, pick one to get rid of. So I kind of smelled like the three that are towards the bottom of my list, even though I love them all. And this is the one that I think I would wear the least, but my God, it smells so good. Um, I would say still my favorite is Nightfall Patchouli, then probably Saffron Lazuli, um, and then Mystery Tobacco, and then Amber Desire and Bronze Tonka are kind of equal, but this is also kind of equal with them. It's just that I think I would wear this one less frequently than those two. All right, and last up, I'm gonna talk about a couple Guerlain fragrances that I'm getting rid of. I know, shocker, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So the first one up is this one here. This is Mon Guerlain Floral. This and the Intense are my two favorite flankers, but um, I now own Mon Exclusif, and I prefer that over all of them. 
Still really beautiful though. Um, I think the floral version is discontinued. It seems like it's becoming harder and harder to find, but I really, really like this. And it's just a light touch of florals in addition to that sort of uh, lavender vanilla combo. Really, really nice fragrance. I just don't need it because I have something else that's similar and that I prefer. And then this one just breaks my heart because the bottle is just absolutely stunning. This is called Promenade de Anglaise. It is a fig style fragrance, kind of a light watery fig, really good for this time of year. And the, bo the bottle, the bottle is amazing, right? Like these are gorgeous. Mm. I don't love this fragrance. I'll just be really honest. I don't love it. I think it's nice, but uh, it's just not my style personally. Uh, I've kept it for as long as I have because I just, the bottle gets me so much. It's so beautiful. And now I've heard that this line is also completely discontinued, which makes me kind of sad because I was hoping to find maybe a different one from this line that I would enjoy more to add to my collection so that I could have one of these beautiful little bottles here. But it looks like now they're pretty much all gone. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. That makes it hard to declutter this too, because I know like once I get rid of this, I'm not like, I won't be able to get it back. Uh, but I don't wear it, and like I said, I'm not in love with this fragrance, so it just needs to, to go on out. Okay, so three recording attempts, a rogue cap, and a laughing fit later, we are finally done. <laughs> Um, that is my declutter this time around. And those are the fragrances that I will be parting with. Um, I have recently acquired a smaller number of fragrances than my previous hauls. I'm not sure if you guys want to see it or not. I think I have about nine new fragrances that I've added to my collection. So if you're curious uh, and you would like to see a smaller haul video, I can do that. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to get these listed right now as a filming. I have not listed these on Mercari uh, because I'm lazy, <laughs> but uh, hopefully very soon they will be up. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in any of these. But I hope you guys like like this video? If so, please give it a thumbs up. Give it two thumbs up today because I had to film this three times. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you all next time. Bye!